Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword Go Lock. Today we're picking up uh, right in front of the Hammerlock Stadium. Uh, we got a gym badge to at least try to get today, so, you know, um, let's get on that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just head straight into the gym. Uh, we, got, we got a full gym to get through today. We could probably do it, and we could probably do a few things after if we're successful for us. We've already stopped with this ball guy, so no reason to talk to him. He's the one who gave us the level ball a while ago. First time we stopped by Hammerlock. Changing our gym challenger uniform. The Classico 24. Uniform you wear as a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Head to where all the gym trainers are waiting. No, not the stadium, but the vault. We've been to the vault, but once before with Sonya. So it'll be a, a nice place to come back to, I guess. Pretty nervous about this gym, I'm gonna be honest. Raihan's a very powerful Pokemon trainer. We gotta make it to him first, though. So, Let's see how many gym challenges are left? Huh? Not even ten. Okay. All right then, Max. Time to explain the Great Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All I gotta do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally train. Double battles. Gym challenge is meant to be well challenging, wouldn't you say? Essentially, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. That's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. So looks like we've got a few battles on our hand before we can challenge Raihan. I'm perfectly fine with. Yep, that's me, Sebastian. Good Ryan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize their power. Whatever you say, man, I'm just gonna press some strong attacks. I don't know who I'm leading, which is a bit scary. Pelipper and Sligu, a pretty powerful duo, honestly. Uh, Pelipper normally will set up the rain, and Sligu does a lot better in the rain. So this is a bit scary, but we should be okay. I think what we're actually going to do is use Moonblast. No, we'll use Dragon Pulse on the Sligu, and then Psychic on the Pelipper. Okay, notice we got sped there, that's important. Sligu's down to like 1 HP basically. Tailwind. Okay, so that means they're going to outspeed us most likely next turn, so we got to be very careful. Okay, Sligu so use Dragon Pulse. I'm going to do a bit to Altaria. I think we could take at least one, but not comfortably. Okay, with a Psychic. There we go. Wow, let's knock Pelipper out. Let's go. That makes this a lot easier, I think. So now, uh, I know we can survive another Dragon Pulse. As long as it doesn't crit, which is a, you know, most of the time, we'll hit the pluck. And then with this one, we'll just set up light screen. No, no reason not to. Okay, it outspeeds. Of course, we tailwind. Actually, you try to pulse in the rear unit which makes this battle a bit easier. Uh, it's a bit less risky. Here we go, that's the Sligu. It's the first trainer down. First three we have to defeat before we get the chance to fight Raihan. Level up Cloud9 and our beautiful Lisa. Doubles. There's a lot of things about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun too. Yeah, honestly, I do enjoy double battles. That's the uh, basic BGC format. Can't see why I've managed to make it this far. Uh, it's the basic BGC format. Uh, most competitive battles are done double battles, which makes it an uh, interesting format. Let's heal up. We didn't take too much damage, but it's always good to stop and heal up for a battle, especially when it can be difficult. Um, I actually... I, I did a bit of research into this gym challenge because I was pretty worried about it. So, um, if I remember correctly, our best options to lead here would be Loki and Lisa, I think. So that's what we're going to do. Double battles. It's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's Pokemon play. I think this is the best thing for us. Did a, honestly quite a bit of research into this gym. Pretty worried about it, so. It's scared. We're made up with our Pokemon. Oh, you know what? Why did I... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have led this duo. I think our best option would be Sword Stance with Loki, and then Psychic the Ninetales. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I was worried that Turtonator was going to use Shell Trap, which means if we hit it, it would do a lot of damage, especially in Sun, but we didn't hit it. We source dance if we psychic the other Pokemon, so that turn could not have gone any better. 
Uh, Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that turn could have gone a little bit better. <laughs> Will-O-Wisp lowers our physical attack by a substantial amount. So Loki can be dishing out a little less damage than we would like. But honestly, I don't know if it'll... Oh, and it healed its burn. That's one. That's, I think that's the first time we've seen that. Um, that's one of the effects of feeding your Pokemon Curry, raising their, their affection towards you, is they can just drop Sass conditions like that. That's super, super good. We're going to switch in Cloud9 here, so that we don't take Earthquake damage, and uh, honestly, I think that should knock it out. That was a pretty pretty good battle for us. Yeah, look at this. It's going to do a lot of damage. Plus two for Earthquake, but Digger's speed too. Nice. Doesn't affect Cloud9. That battle went perfectly. Very, very well. Very proud of how that went. That's our team working in perfect synergy for you. Gonna level up a bit. Nice. Okay, one more left. Well, there's Fickle. We're trying to defeat her even more Fickle. Fantastic. I can see those seven badges you have for well earned. Thank you, thank you. I'm really the only person who commented on that so far. You made it on the third and last trainer. Your moment is shy, Naria. So for this one, and this is going to be a bit tough for us. I think our best option will be Tinkerbell and... I think Susie. Maybe not Susie. Maybe Lisa. I think. This is this one's a bit tough for us, honestly. Double battle. Do you mind the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Let's see what your strategy is. We don't really have much of a strategy. We kind of just, you know, fight. You know what I mean? Bomba Snow and Hakamoto. Very hard uh, lead for us to counter, honestly. There's Tinkerbell and Lisa. Bomba Snow, Snow Warning. Uh, we're going to Moon Blast on the Hakamoto. That's four times super effective. So with Lisa, we're going to. Psychic the Abomas now. Oh, Tinkerbell at speeds. That might just one shot it. That might not be as hard as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's the power of a Moon Blast. Uh, a little bit of nice experience, of course. Abomas needs a Roar Veil. That could have been scary if Hakama was still on the field. A Roar Veil halves the, the damage of all physical and special moves. It's kind of like Light Screen Reflect. It can only be set up during Hail, though, which is what kind of sets it apart. I think we should be fine here, though. Just move blast the bomb snow and psychic it, and I think that's the game. I don't think there's really anything we can do to prevent it. That's our team for you. Very powerful. Are they powerful enough to take out Rion without losing anybody? That's what I'm worried about. Cooperation, cooperation between trainers and their Pokemon to bring out their strength even more. I've been kind of theorizing what I'm going to do for this battle. Um. The main issue is his Pokemon are like, okay, they have some pretty common weaknesses, but our big issue is since it's a double battle, we don't get the opportunity to switch in between his Pokemon. And that poses some major issues for our team. So I've been thinking, let's maybe see, we got, we got U-turn, right? Can anyone learn it? Hmm. Not really anyone who I would need to. I kind of want Lisa to learn it, honestly. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we just gotta hope. Let's take a look at our team. Oh, we gotta give Susie an item. Let's give her one. Maybe it'll help us out in this battle. Ryan did that on purpose, I'm gonna be honest. Hmm. This is tough. I think maybe. Oh, this is tough. This is really tough. I think we give Lisa the muscle band, honestly. And then I think we're going to lead with her. Her and Tinkerbell. The muscle band boosts the power of physical moves, like uh, her drill run. They're doing a lot more damage. Let's, let's do this. Final gym.
Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. Do you aim to defeat Leon? Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? This is greatest rival. I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Chilean Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two on two battles. He must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Here we go. I've been honestly dreading this battle ever since our last gym fight. So, challenged by Jim Leader Raihan. So now Gigalith and Flygon. Um, Flygon, a ground and dragon Pokemon, a very nice typing. Gigalith being a pure rock Pokemon. Um, if I remember correctly. Obviously, we get our Dynamax energy. Um, yep, Gigalith Sand Shumate, which means uh, we're going to be fighting most of this battle in a, an intense sandstorm. The winds blow. Stream forward, Sandstorm. It's so turn one here. I've kind of already thought out what we want to do. We're going to Moon Blast the Flygon with our Tinkerbell, and then I think we're going to Drill Run the Gigalith. The Muscle Band might give us enough to knock it out, honestly. This Moon Blast needs to do a lot. Or just one-shot it. I will take that any day. That's perfect. That is... Wow. Okay. Um, that's very nice. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. Let's hit this little Gigalith with the Drill Run. Okay, um, honestly, I kind of, I don't know if that one-shotting was great. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think what we need to do here. I think we switch out Tinkerbell. I'm expecting a steel move in the Tinkerbell. And I think that Lisa can take it. We're gonna Dynamax Susie, and we're gonna use Max Quake on the Duraludon. He's not Dynamaxing? Oh no, I think the switch happens first. Never mind. Yeah, it totally does. Yeah, okay, there we go. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the city flying. Oh, here we go. This is what I was very scared about. This gigantic Max Duraludon. A huge menace to our team. Steel Dragon type is a very hard type to deal with. Fighting and uh, ground are which is why uh, we're Dynamaxing Susie. We really are depending on her. She needs to get in some great hits with, with this Dynamax. Very worried. I'd love if she moved first, too. I really like that. Guess not. Okay, Max Steel Spike. That's probably going to be new to our reunit quest. Yeah. That's not enough to two shot. That is not enough to two shot. Does raise his defense though. No way. Dude. Susie. I think that crit mattered. Susie, you monster. Oh, this gym fight, I was honestly, I was expecting to have to sacrifice somebody. But Susie just single-handedly won this chip fight for us with that. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Get deep to eyes out here. I don't know why we still have that, but oh my gosh, Susie. That was incredible. I don't even think this, I don't even think this Anaconda can win it. I think that's it. I think that's game. Susie, I don't think I've ever been more impressed with the, the abilities of Pokemon. Our Excadrill is taking us to the championships, I'll tell you that. Wow. Let's show them what we're made of. Finish this battle off strong. Wow. That's our Excadrill for you. I'm so proud of her, wow. I can't, I, I can't like shake the smile off my face. That was incredible, Susie. Dude, we're, we're having some celebratory curry, curry after this battle. I don't care. Susie earned it for the team. Wow. I'm I'm speechless.
Dude, we destroyed Raihan. I thought that was gonna be the toughest battle we've ever had. Good job, guys. Might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick self. We we definitely use that sandstorm to our advantage with our Excadrill. Our ability to uh, boost your stats a bit in sandstorm. The aftermath of the furious battle feels pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival means I'd grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident, overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. Proof of your victory. The Dragon Batch. Honestly, don't give me this badge. Give it to Susie, our Excadrill. That was amazing. Wow. Our, our little baby Excadrill, our little baby Drillber. Collected all the different badges from the Gala region. Now win your way to the semifinals. Finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much at least for beating us in battle here today. Our, our Excadrill. We raised and she, she was a baby Drillber. Collect all the gym badge, badges. But at last time for the Champions Cup. Look forward to see how you all do in battle. Ooh, I can't speak. Max. Sorry to hold you up. There was something I forgot. First off, to sign my respect, here's TM99. Here's the move Breaking Sweat. We didn't even get to see him use that move. User swings his tail. Her tough tail wildly attacks opposing Pokemon. It also lowers their attack stats. In a dull battle that'll hit both opponents on the field too. Secondly, here's the dragon type Jimmy form. Mark of true strength. You? Number 024. Challenger Max. We did the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Raihan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. Try out lots of different strategies. I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. Honestly, I'll you ought to bring in an extra drill. I want to beat you and Max and even Lee. Let me see you, Max. Let's have another epic battle someday. Feeling up to it? You know, go train hard in the wild area. Dude, that was an amazing battle. That's, that's the power of an Excadrill. I'm telling you guys, pick yourself up an Excadrill if you haven't already. Hey there, Max. Gave Raihan a good thrashing. That means you completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should go talk over. Sure, what's up? Light that covered hammerlock. Just like the darkest day, we said that giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It only seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. We still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamax, or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest. My lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I saw him finish the work you've assigned me. I think this is something to help you finish that work. So I'm just getting a, a quick uniform change. Very nice. Very deserving of it. Looks great. Yeah. Two heroes that protect the gallery from the darkest set. That legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. Do what I can. You or Hop could be the one to take down Leon. I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting the wind in. Go on, head to this train, head to the station, and you'll miss your train. Before we do that, um, I did promise my team some nice celebratory curry. And then we do have a new encounter. Uh, we just beat a gym. This is our last gym encounter. So we're going to get on over here. Have some delicious curry. A large leak, and then 10 orange berries. Good job, everybody. You guys deserve this. Beat all the gyms. All that's left is the Champions Cup and the, the undefeated champion. So, gotta eat well so we can be ready for that. Not looking forward to that fight either, I'll tell you that. But Rhinon was definitely a major roadblock. I'm happy we got over without any issue. It was a very easy battle, honestly. Thanks to our, our lovely Excadrill, Susie. There she is. You deserve this Excadrill. Good stirring. But after this, we'll head into the wild area. We'll catch a Pokemon there. And we also just unlocked a new route. So we might as well get two encounters at once, you know? I think that'll be our last encounter for a while until, I think, post game. Okay. 
Oh no, I think we do have a few more. I think about it. Done with the curry, but not many. So we gotta make sure our teammates are healthy and doing well. Some yummy elite curry. What do you think, Wednesday got? You like it, Tinker Bell? Clap. Not the best curry we've made, but it is curry nonetheless. I'm sure our team enjoyed it. We do have to go catch someone in the wild area. Yeah, everyone congratulating us on our match. It warms my heart. All for you, Excadrill. Hey, let's head around. Let's look for something new we haven't caught just to showcase it off a bit. Uh, as always, we're going to lead with Cloud9 to sing in a bit. It is kind of night, too, so we can potentially use a Dusk Ball. I think we have a few of those. Some line units. Let's run it to him. She got a Scrafty last time. Or Scrag. There's a Choodle in the grass, but we already caught one of them. Again, I'm only really doing this to show off a few Pokemon. Might not see otherwise, you know. No reason not to catch something new. To experience all the Pokemon that the Galar region has to offer. What? Why not head into this water? Let's see what's here. What's in here? What's in a Mantike. We grab him? Yeah, we did. Nice a little Mantike to catch. Very cute looking Pokemon. It's a water, water type. Uh, I, think it, I think it's pure water. I don't think it's a game flying yet. Upon evolution, I'm pretty sure it gains the flying type, right? Can I check that? No, it is pure. It is water flying. So, yeah, everything I just said um, keeps that typing when it evolves. The way to evolve it's very odd. You have to evolve it past, or level it up past a certain level, which I'm not quite sure what it is, with a Remory party and evolve it to its evolution Manti. A very bulky water flying Pokemon. We've discussed this before. I've had my uh, fair share of encounters with them competitively, and they're not fun to deal with. Okay, we're missing all these bounce, these, uh, what they call them? Sings. We're not going to be able to hit this one because it's in the air, so it's a bit annoying. This Mantica probably wasn't the best Pokemon to go after. that and please hit this thing now there we go finally only took like five sinks sleep this little eyelashes all closed may take such an adorable pokemon uh, there we are dusk balls dust balls are better at catching pokemon in caves or at the dark uh, it is like night time so this should work hopefully yeah. There we go. Easy enough. Mantic was caught. Okay, now uh, let's let's get on that train. Um, we do have a new area unlocked to us, so we might as well go there and get the encounter for that location too. Yeah. Just gotta head up here. We'll heal up just to get our sings back before we. We hop on the train to the next location where we can catch a Pokemon. I like doing uh, encounters in groups like this. It makes it a lot easier to kind of put together, you know? Let's heal everybody up a bit. Well, Punny still hasn't seen many battles. Uh, maybe that might change soon, hopefully. If we can get her some better moves, or him some better moves. That's mainly our lot Bunny's issue, is it doesn't have great moves. It's very powerful Pokemon that has nothing good to use in battle. Head on over this way. It's a train station. Passed by it a few times, so you know where it is. Everyone's waving us goodbye. That guy's that person will be cheering us for this in during the semifinals. Very kind of them. Wait a Max, I'm coming too! I had Raihan beat no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I've made, that is. You never stop nattering on that entire battle. Pretty different from the champion in that. Your strength is genuine. And by the dragon badge you won. Came to me with the force of a raging storm, and I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Body your way through the champion cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Max. So I'll bring out every last thing I learned in my battle with your ion to beat him. Let's get a move on, Max. The train's waiting. Ron, hop. Definitely plan to see you in the Champions Cup. Not on the train. It's been a while since we've been on one of these, especially with our 
or Buddy Hop. I've matured a lot as a Pokemon trainer since the last time. Got a cool new jacket. We're finally headed for Winden. A lot I want to check out here. There's that big tower and the monorail. Winden Stadium. For the whole of Gallop. No, the whole world is going to be watching. Looking forward to it. Get it right. Me and you are going to make our match the greatest that ever was. Alright, Hop. Hey, here we are. Let's walk outside into the the new new area. Got to catch a Pokemon. Route 10. This is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. But there'll be ice Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Max. I think we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here. The Chambi Cup starts. Leave myself and the Pokemon on my team. I know we'll get all loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winded, mate. See you in Winded, buddy. Okay. Little item. Two X attacks. I turn around. Sell that off. But here's some ice Pokemon. Uh, because they're ice, we're actually not going to do our normal sing strategy. We're gonna actually going to lead with... Oh, that's actually not great either. We're going to lead with Loki. <laughs> okay, he's got Super Fang. Item. Let's try to catch the little Cup Chew. Uh, we can use Super Fang, which should lower the health considerable amount. My puppy just shaked, shaked awake. Might have been having like a bad dream or something. Had to shake herself awake. Maybe maybe the, the Cub Chew kind of scared her. It's cry or something. Who knows? Maybe thought it was a bear. Cub Chew used rest. Oh, it almost put itself to sleep there. We had a hit our super thing, I guess. There we go. There we go. That's actually pretty good that it puts itself to sleep like that. Puppy sitting here watching us try to catch this cub chew. I feel like she likes watching me play a little come on. She does it a lot. Just sits here and kind of stares. Very cute. Got my little my little real life Pokemon watching me play. Cub chew's fast asleep and a half health. Little dusk ball at it. It's still night, so. One. This should be a pretty easy catch. Two. Three. There you go, Cup Chew caught. That's gonna be our last root encounter for a little bit. I think our last real root encounter ever, I think. Hey, but, oh. That being said, let's head to our PC box and grab these two little rascals, move them over. And with that being said, our next two Pokemon Go encounters are a Fungus and a Sableye. Um, interesting, I'll say that. Um, Fungus, a uh, Grass Poison type, a pretty powerful one. Um, ours, Nature is actually pretty good. Um, very defensive Pokemon, so anything that boosts defense. And it's already very slow, so minus speed doesn't really matter. Um, Effect Score is a pretty... Decent ability. You know. Uh, Fungus is a pretty good Pokemon. If we ever end up needing to use it, it's very defensive. Its, it's evolution is very powerful. Uh, it's a very defensive Pokemon. It has a lot of status condition moves. Um, uh, second Pokemon is actually one of my favorites. Kind of similar to Fungus. Sableye. Uh, less defensive. More so just status. Kind of fake out and mess around with your opponent. Ours has a stall, which is like the worst ability you can have. It'll always go last. Um, a neutral nature, which, you know, whatever. Say it will attack Nightshade Freeze, so I have some pretty bad moves. Um, if you look this item, it's actually caught, caught in a Premier Ball. That's because, uh, as you can see in the little clip, this is a Team Rocket Sableye. I had to purify it before I transferred it in. You know, Team Rocket Balloon floating over that. I was like, you know, kind of have a special occasion. We'll transfer in a Sableye. No reason not to. Well, Shadow Sableye at that. Um, but with that all being said, uh, actually, you know, well, we gotta name them. We gotta name them before we go. We gotta go name our our new Pokemon, so despite us just getting, can we fly back here if we need to? No. Okay, we're going to take the train again. But uh, let's fly to Hammerlock, um, nickname our Pokemon. And then that'll be all for today. A very eventful episode. We destroyed Raihan, got uh, two encounters to probably our last few encounters. Over here's where you Always forget that. <laughs> let's name you Fungus. Um, ours is a male. Um, how about we call it 
Um, I feel like Terry. Terry is kind of like a, a name I kind of, for some reason, associate with Fungus. Um, so we'll call it Terry. And then Sableye, ours, uh, ours is a female, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. I gotta, I normally call most of my female Sableyes Ruby. I think it's a cute name. It's fine. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, but again, very eventful episode. We got a lot done. I'm excited for next episode. We're going to finish Route 10 and hopefully, well, first we got to start Route 10, but hopefully get all the way through it, make it to Winden. So, uh, see you guys there. Have a nice day.